everybody, it's Camellia. So I'm back today with another, um, what should I call this? I guess it's another tag. Um, this is the new, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the new YouTuber tag or the new beauty guru tag because I'm not trying to be a beauty guru, but I do want to make beauty based videos. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to title this one, but uh, let's just get right into it. So the first question is, what is your favorite beauty product? Um, my favorite beauty product would have to be lipstick. Um, I don't wear much makeup, but I love lipstick. I think that just one, a bold color on your lip is good. I love lipstick. I have I own so much lipstick, it's not even funny. Different colors, pinks, reds, and purples are more my um, colors, but... I love lipstick. That is my. That's gonna be my favorite uh, beauty product. Uh, the second question is my reason for starting my YouTube channel. Um, I've always wanted to make YouTube videos. It was just never the right time. Like in the past, I guess there was just too much going on that I felt like I wouldn't be consistent with it. Um, but maybe that's another story for another day. Maybe I'll do like a a my YouTube video. Um. On my YouTube story video. Um, but, yeah. And I also just wanted to make YouTube videos because a lot of people in my daily life tell me that, um, how they tell me how talented I am. They tell me how much I inspire others. So I felt like, well, why not, you know, share that with the world and try to inspire other people out there. Um, also, that and also I, I do have dreams, um, like being on television, so I guess making a YouTube channel would help me to become more comfortable um, being on camera and talking, I guess, on screen. Uh, but yeah, I always wanted to do YouTube. Um, I just, also, I didn't have a camera. Well, I still kind of don't. Um, I'm This is my webcam, <laughs> but eventually I am going to get a camera because I do want to, you know, take it more seriously. Um, I just don't have the equipment for all of that yet. Um, but I didn't want to hold off my channel any longer. I still felt like there's things that I want to do, things that I want to say. Um, and I wasn't going to let the fact that I'm not properly equipped yet or I don't have all the finances yet to get that stuff to make the channel. So I decided to just make it and then when I do get the camera, I can advance everything. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of people who are now making YouTube channels and they're coming out like right off the bat with their big, you know, fancy equipment, their nice cameras, their DSLRs, and their lighting and all that. Um, but I just didn't want to prolong my channel anymore. I wanted to start it for so long. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I know that, you know, the webcam thing is 2015. It's not really, but I mean... Like I said, I didn't want to prolong it any longer, and I, I eventually am going to get a camera. And when I do, I will show it to you guys, um, and my channel will get better. Um, the third question is, what beauty guru inspired you to make your channel? Or what YouTuber? Um, I can't say that I have an exact, like, one, because I think it's everybody. I think it's everyone that I've watched from the beauty videos to the fashion videos, makeup videos, cooking videos, comedy. There's so much different things that I watch on YouTube, not just beauty. So I think just watching the people that I do watch, um, which is pretty much everyone I'm subscribed to, they all inspired me to want to do this. They all inspired me to want to make videos. It looked like so much fun. Um, so I don't really have one set person that I could say inspired me to make the channel. Um, my favorite thing to do besides beauty related things. Uh, I like to sing. Um, I love to perform. I like to sing, dance, act. Me and my sister, um, Camille, we have been performing together since we were like really young. Um, I've acted in school plays like in elementary and junior high and stuff. Um, so yeah, I like to perform, I like to sing, dance, and act. What else do I like? 
besides beauty. Oh, um, I like to go to work, you know, and it's actually a good thing that I say that I like my job. Um, I work in the hospital. I'm a medical assistant, and I just love, like, medical science, so I like, you know, talking about patient education. Um, that's something that I'm very passionate about as well. Um, and, oh, wait, no, that is beauty related. I like to paint my nails. Um, what else is something that's beauty, not non-beauty related? That is my favorite thing to do. Reading. I like to read. Yeah. <laughs> I like books. I like to read books. Um, so yeah, singing, dancing, acting, medical science, and reading. Um, what is your favorite store to shop in? Um... Let's see. I have a lot of local stores that I like to shop in. Um, I don't know if you'd find them, you know, if you don't live in my area. Um, I like to shop at Rainbow, Dr. J's, Charlotte Russe, um, Forever 21, sometimes. I love H&M. Um, oh, ooh, my favorite store to shop in, which is in my local, I don't know if I should say the name of it because it has, like, where I live in it. So, um, it's like downtown in my area, um, where I go there for like everything. Cause sometimes I want to add a new piece to my wardrobe and I'm saying that I want to switch it up. I don't want to keep shopping in the same store all the time, but I end up going right back to that store. Cause that's the only place where I could find what it is that I'm looking for. Uh, the name of the store is like where I live, USA ladies. Yeah. Just gonna, yeah. Um, but I love that store. Like, people like, where'd you get that? I'm just like, my store. Or if you live in my area, then I would tell you the name of the store. Um, what is your favorite go-to perfume? I don't really wear perfumes like that. Um, like, my line of work, I'm, I'm not really allowed to wear, um, like scented things or fragrance things like scented like hand lotions and stuff because I'm working with patients I'm supposed to be like you know really fresh and like my hands is always being washed and I always have hand sanitizer um it's just like Johnson and Johnson's and and St. Ives lotion and baby powder <laughs> um but I think you know I have yeah you know what this it's so this is so old um, I got this, a friend got this for me for my 16th birthday, about, yeah, my 16th birthday about three years ago, and you could see how old it is, it's like all tattered and everything. Um, it's pink, shimmer and shine, sweet and flirty, sparkling body mist from Victoria's Secret, and I still, is it, whoop. <laughs> There's a little bit left in here, or quite a lot, I guess you could say, actually, because I don't use it often, only when I'm, like, you know, going out, which I don't go out much, but it smells, it smells really good, it's, it has glitter on it, it's like you spray it on your body, I like it, so I use this, and then I also have this thing that I got for, like, my 15th birthday, I don't remember the name of this, I threw the box away, but it smells good, too. So, I just, I actually put this on if I'm going to, like, it's more, what's the word? I guess you could say elegant smelling. I don't know. I'm going to put this on if I'm going to um, church, a wedding, a funeral. Um, not so much, like, you know, a fun day out. Maybe a dinner date, too. I don't know. But those are, yeah, I don't wear much um, perfumes or anything like that. Um, what is your favorite color? Pink. I am such a girl. My favorite color is pink. I own, like, pink everything. When people want to get me stuff they know to get, get Camellia the pink because that's what she likes. She likes pink. And, yeah. Like, my walls in my room are pink. The shirt that I'm wearing right now is pink. Uh, my pillows, I always have pink bed sheets, pink wallet, pink phone case, pink headphones, pink 
oh my goodness everything pink i have so look my book is pink my oh my god everything is pink i own so much pink lipsticks pink nail polishes pink outfits pink shoes um everything it's kind of it's getting out of hand but it's just my favorite color it's been my favorite color since i was small you know what i think it is because um camille's favorite color is blue if you guys don't know my twin sister's name is camille we did have um a twin tag you guys can go and watch that one um and she's gonna be making a lot of videos with me too because she wants to make youtube videos with me too so um when we were babies, my mom used to dress me in pink more and dress Camille in pink more. I mean, in blue more. And now my favorite color is pink and her favorite color is blue. So I think that that probably has a lot to do with it. Because she has a lot of blue stuff. The same way I have, like, a lot of pink stuff. Like, I'm obsessed with the color pink. Um, it's crazy. Uh, the next question is flower or a bow? I'm going to go with flower. Yeah, I'm going to go with flower because bows are kind of more childish. I think flowers are more, they say, like, beautiful woman. It's nice. It's, it, they, it, I think of, like, tropical, like, island, like, yeah. I would definitely go with a flower more than a bow. I used to be obsessed with bows when I was, like, in junior high school. Um, I used to like bows. I would do, like, a half up, half down hair style and put a bow in the middle. My mom used to put ribbons in my hair when she did, like, the long little pigtail braids. Um, so, I think I would more like a flower. Plus, I'm an island girl anyway, so I would definitely. I like flowers. Mm -hmm. um, rings or bracelets? Rings. Um, yeah, rings. I like rings. My, I feel like I can't wear no ring. My hands feel very, very bare without it. Um, I don't wear bracelets that much unless it's like, because I don't buy bracelets much. If somebody gets me a bracelet for like Christmas, my birthday or something, then I'll wear it when I'm going out. Um, yeah. When I was younger, uh, we used to wear a lot, because bangles are actually very traditional for us. So we used to wear bangles and my mom used to wear a whole bunch of bangles and my sister put on a whole bunch of bangles and i still have them i used to even have costume jewelry bangles the big ones the big thick ones <laughs> in like pink and orange and green and yellow all those big like you know vibrant colors but that was when i was a kid so <laughs> yeah i don't wear bracelets much or bangles much unless like i said it's a i would my, like my mom has um gold and the thin the very gold thin and, and silver kind of bangles because they're very traditional to wear um during family like events and things like that like holidays but other than that um rings it is uh these are the two rings that i wear like every day um eventually if i'm gonna go out um i might wear more like maybe like the mid rings and stuff like that my nails need to be done Oh my god. But this one I got from my mom when I was like 12. It was either for my birthday or Christmas. It's kind of, it, it says love in it. It's a heart and it says love. You can't really see it. But that's what it says. And it's kind of so much. She stepped on it. <laughs> um, I had it one time on the floor and I didn't know. I guess it probably fell on the floor. My mom walked in my room and she stepped on it. And she had to, like, take a knife and open the ring back up. And ever since then, I put it on, and I never, ever took it off again. Ever. I really ever take it off. Like, it can't even come off. Because my knuckle, like, is so big compared to the size of the ring. So I just keep it on. I don't know. Um, and then this one is very, it's silver, and it has, like, diamonds in the middle. You can't really, like, tell it. Two of them actually fell out. I'm so sad. I want to get them replaced, though. But, um, my mom got me this ring, too. She got it for me when I was, like, maybe 15 or 16 for Christmas. Um, and I also wear it and I cherish it like a baby. I lost it one time in school. It, like, fell, like, in the staircase and I got so sad and I was crying and everybody stopped and helped me look for it because I was just so sad. Yeah. I was always losing jewelry in school. Like, I lost this 
one of these earrings in school too before and like i'm telling you this guy stopped and he was like looking under the vending machines and everything trying to help me find it but it actually i didn't lose it at school i it was in my bed at home and i just didn't know i walked out the house without my earring um because it fell off in my sleep but yeah next question because i'm telling stories here um favorite drugstore makeup brand elf um, like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup, um, because I don't know, I guess I was just never, I mean, people, when I was younger, people would get me those little Barbie makeup kits and stuff, but I would put it on the dolls, or like on my cousins, and I would just, I just like the lip gloss, um, I just love lip product, um, but e.l.f., I like my e.l.f. brushes, and my e.l.f. palettes and stuff, when I play around with makeup at home, sometimes I do wear it to go out if it's looking nice, um, <laughs> But I am getting better. Um, but I like Elf. Like, I have other drugstore brands, like these lipsticks from NK and Color Design. But I think Elf has to be my favorite drugstore makeup brand right now. Until I try other makeup brands out, because I'm still getting into this whole makeup field. Um, and lastly, something that makes you smile. Life. Life makes me smile sometimes. <laughs> um, my mom makes me smile. My sister makes me smile. Um, everything good in life makes me smile. Food makes me smile. God makes me smile. Um, he's amazing. I don't know about you guys and what your religious views are, but the amazing things that God has done for me in my life definitely makes me smile. Um... Yeah, and making videos, like this video makes me smile. Every time I'm about to say I want to film a video or I write down some ideas to film a video, I smile because it makes me happy that I'm I'm finally, you know, doing this. I'm finally going to try to do this and stick with it. Um, and I like talking to other people. Oh, my goodness. I, what makes me smile is taking care of patients, making people feel better. Um talking to people, helping them through rough times, comforting people. Oh my goodness. I'm such I love comforting people. I'm the one that gives you hugs and always wipes your tears and tell you it's going to be okay, even though I'm a crybaby myself. Um, yeah. That's those are the things in life that makes me smile. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, so I'm probably going to definitely be making some more. I'm definitely going to work on getting my camera. Um, so you guys can also leave comments down below of what else you would like to see. Like I said, my sister is going to be making videos with me now. Um, because she also wants to make YouTube videos as well. But we decided not to make two separate channels. We might as well just make one channel. Um, yeah. You guys can go check our twin tag out. My name is Camelia. Her name is Camille. Um, so stay tuned for those. And some people have requested for us to do a challenge together. So I think we're going to film that one. Because um, it's been a while. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I have a lot of ideas. So I can't wait to get the show on the road. Um, you guys can like, comment, subscribe, whichever you prefer. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!